Well, welcome back. In this chapter, we're going to be talking about PLC program control instructions. And so let's um, go ahead and get into this, these details. The first thing that we'll talk about is give a perspective on program control. Program control instructions are used to enable or disable a block of logic program or to move execution of a program from one place to another. And so the program control menu tab for the Allen Bradley SLC 500 PLC is what we're showing here in the graphic. So let's um, think about this now in more detail. Let's talk about the master control and the reset instructions. So the hardwire master control relays are used in relay control circuitry to provide input and output power shutdown of an entire circuit. And so here we can be seeing a hardwired master control relay circuit. See what that looks like. For the MRC or master control reset in PLC, it clears all, all set non-retentive output rungs before the paired MCR instruction. So the, the program MCR instruction is not a substitute for a hardwired master control relay. And it is highly recommended that all PLC systems include a hardwired MCR and emergency stop switch to provide safe, effective shutdown of an input and output power. So maybe you would have both, but um, you can have something programmable with the um, PLC, with the MCR, but as well as a, um, a, a switch. So here's what the program master control reset instruction, what a ladder logic um, a way of doing that would look like. And so we can, can just see this um, and you can pause the video or go to the textbook to, to look over that in more detail. Here we have an MCR fence zone with a, the, the zone true. So this is where we can start to be getting a little bit more precision on how we go about doing this, um, this MCR. Here we have an MCR fence zone with the, the zone false. So we have true, false, true, false. You can go back and compare those two. Um, what are other uses for MCRs? In addition to controlling power to an entire system, MCRs are also used when only a portion of a program is required to be isolated. For example, if you wanted to inhibit zones of the program while loading recipes or monitoring emergency stops, and for establishing preconditions to synchronize a machine on startup. Okay, what about jump instructions? Um, programming, you, you always have decisions and the ability to jump. So the, the jump GMP instruction is used to jump over certain program instructions when certain conditions exist. The label instruction is used to identify the ladder rung that is at the target destination that does not contribute to the logic connectivity. So here we have the, the, the jump command um, that we're talking about here and the, the label instruction. So here is what the, the jump program operation would, would look like. And so with, with that included, so here you can see them here, the, the, the jump and the, the label instructions. So you could be jumped to the, the label, for example. So what is the effect on instructions of jumped rungs? Um, you can be looking over this in the textbook that this is a more, um, involved type of ladder program with the inputs and outputs and the logic here. And we do have the, the jumping um, laid out as part of this overall scheme of this operation. You can also jump to label from two locations. And so this is a possibility that you can have here's one and here's two, then you then jump to this other part of your um, ladder logic that you have developed. What about subroutine functions? Um, uh, subroutine is a short program that is used by the, the main program to perform a specific function. So JSR, jump to subroutine, RET, return from subroutine, and SBR is where you actually have the subroutine. So some of you with programming experience, you should be aware of this when you want to go to a subroutine, the return, and then um, actually labeling when you have a start of a subroutine. So a sub, when a sub, subroutine is called from the main program, the program is able to escape from the main program and go to a program subroutine to perform certain functions and then return to the main program. Thus, that's what we have here. We JSR, you go to the subroutine, you finish, you return. That's how it would look like. Um, with the JSR 
instruction redirects logic execution from the current ladder file to a specific subroutine file. Um, what about fl flashing a pilot light subroutine program? Anytime that the weight on the conveyor exceeds a preset value that the subroutine program is scanned and the pilot light changes from an on to flashing. As an example, the kind of function that you could do. Um, for main and subroutine programs, here is what the, the main program could look like, and here is what a subroutine um, that you're developing would could look like. Okay, um, and here is what um, setting up a subroutine file would be looking like. Um, you can see more about this in the textbook, and here is an example of a nested subroutine.